Hold up. Sorry guys, trying to get a better angle. Hold up. <sighs> okay. What's up my homeboys, homegirls, bros and sisters, can't let go on our channel um, tonight. Nikki, Steven, right? Yep, Nikki and Steven, if you guys are watching this, I just want you to know that I really am a big fan of your reactions, especially to The Punisher. That's one of my favorite shows now. Honestly, it was, honestly, like, your reactions are, like, highly superb, and I mean that with the utmost confidence. Like, I have a whole lot of favorite YouTubers and all, but you guys are my top 10 favorite. Actually, I think you're in my number one favorite. Uh, so yeah, this is a shout out video to you guys. Um, I just uh, wanted to take the time to say that. When I saw your reaction, I mean, seeing Carl's death really had me upset. I mean, like, before, see, here's the thing, like, before, like, every single Monday after The Walking Dead is, you know, like, off, like, after, like, The Walking Dead, like, airs of episode, like, I'd be the first one to watch it, you know? Then I wait till, like, other YouTubers, um, have their reaction videos out. For people to see, um, Carl's death really did have me devastated. It almost, it almost practically had me in tears. But the thing is, as much as I want to show emotion, for some reason I can't. When there's like an emotional moment going on in a TV show, an episode like this one, for instance, I was not crying at all. But see, the thing is, is that you know. Um, after spending like half my time over these years getting constantly bullied by people, even in my old neighborhood, Briar Creek Road, uh, I've learned to control my emotions and not let, you know, people get the better of me. So I guess like that's probably one of the reasons why I was not crying over this. I was upset, believe me, I genuinely was, like 110%. But... For some reason, I did not show that emotion. I honestly don't know why. I guess maybe I've learned to, like, control my feelings. That's the thing. I've learned to, like, bear, like, control my feelings. Because I've been getting bullied constantly, even back in school. Actually, uh, I think I got my um, ass beat one time. Actually, no, two times on the school bus, almost got my laptop taken away. But I did not break, I did not, you know, back down. I held it together. The only problem was, is that I was emasculated for like the next few days. But I handled the situation talking to my principal, Mr. Geis. I was, uh, I'm from uh, Myers Park, or I was. And he handled the situation, and you know, eventually me and my former bullies squash this beef and move on. But yeah, um, I think I've learned to better like control my feelings so that you know I don't be humiliated. You see, like here's the thing. I'm a YouTuber now. I'm up to 802 subscribers. Once I reach up to a thousand, um,
I uh, guess I'll start doing live streaming. The thing is, is that, like, I honestly don't even know how to do a freaking reaction video. Like, I, it's like, I, this year, like, for, like, the past couple of months while, you know, The Walking Dead was taking a fall break, you know, I wanted to do reaction videos on, like, the very first season, the very first episode. I mean, I've seen all the seasons, but the thing is, I wanted to, like, do it while, like, doing a reaction video, you know? Unfortunately, uh, I'm new at this stuff, so I don't know how to do a reaction video. But I'm learning. I'm learning. See, the thing. I just uh, graduated. Whoa, that was way back in June 2017. Uh, yeah. And uh, right now, I don't per se, you know, have a job. But, you know, I figured that if I start this YouTube business and maybe even do Wix and Patreon and other types of websites, then, like, that's how I can get paid. You see, um... This show has literally had me thinking a lot about, like, it honestly, like, it had me thinking that if I was in Carl's position, if I wanted to spend my last few moments on a surf, it would be like doing all sorts of fun things that I've never, you know, dreamt of doing. Spending time with my family. My father, however, the thing is, throughout my entire childhood, ever since I was born, he's never been there for me. So, I really don't know what it would be like to have a father-son relationship like Rick and Carl do, or once did. But, uh, yeah, um, this is my, uh, shout-out video to you guys. I really do love your reactions. You guys are the best YouTubers ever. They're all, they're, not, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of YouTubers out there that are really good at their, at their job, but you guys are tremendously awesome um probably can't see my face as much uh but and I did get your heart and I did see you heart my uh comment uh thank you very much by the way uh but those shows uh, like those shows that I put out there on the comments those were uh, the kind of shows that I was you know just just, just suggesting that you you know react to because, um, I don't know if you noticed, but Sarah Wayne Callies, the same female actor who played as Laurie the Walking Dead, also plays in Prison Break. And, <laughs> don't get me wrong, her character is technically a lot better than, you know, Laurie, because she arrives a lot longer in Prison Break than she ever did in The Walking Dead. But honestly, back to Carl. Um, his death was trem was tremendously sad for me. It's like he's been through like so much. Like we've, it's like Rick and you know his group. They've lost so many loved ones, right from the start back in Atlanta. Amy, Jim, Jackie. Then season two, we lose Sophia. Dale, uh, Shane, although he was a bit erratic, still, uh, Otis, Jimmy, Patricia, even though, like, they really didn't get a whole lot of screen time, um, then season three, Lori, T-Dog, Oscar, Axel, Andrea, then season four, all those people at the prison that, you know, Rick brought in from Woodbury, um, Herschel, Lizzie, Mika, then season five, Bob, Beth, Tyrese, Noah, season six,
a whole lot of Alexandria residents. Um, Sam, Ron, even though he was a piece of shit. Uh, Jesse, Nicholas, who, in, who by the way was like sort of seeking redemption in this in the season. Uh, Denise, can't forget about that. Then we lose Abraham and then Glenn in season seven. And now season eight we lose Carl. It's like honestly why? Like why would like it really like pissed me off that they would actually do that because I mean this character had like a whole lot of development going for him. Like he's really evolved like back from season one when he was like ten years old all the way down to season 8 when he was like freaking 18 it was like he's literally had like a whole lot of character evolving and developing and it's like to see him go like that it's really got me so sad you know, a whole lot of Walking Dead fans did blame Scott Gimple. They said that you know he f that he fired Chandler and did not, and that Chandler did not even receive like a new contract. Even like Chandler Riggs' dad, you know, was like mad at AMC. Mainly Scott Gimple, let alone. Anyways, uh. I've talked your ear off long enough, guys. Uh, hope you're watching this. Um, I will have it out to you, I think, later on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Uh, like, subscribe. To all my uh, fans out there who have friends, like, subscribe, favorite, you know the drill. Love you all, Def. Stay true, stay loyal, and peace.